Oh, hey, OG, it's me, J. King. I just want to ball and get a dub for the whole team. King. What's good to all my OGs, and you know that's OHG, O-Head Gamers, and my Royal Rebels. Hope y'all having a great week, and continue to have a great week, and that includes the weekend. Now, I would like to introduce a new segment to y'all I like to call Why They Lost, a.k.a. Why We Lost. And you know what? We're going to start off with the Why We Lost, because that includes me. I am imperfect, and I play with a lot of randoms, and y'all know how that go. So, we're going to start off with Why We Lost. I am running with my full space and slasher in this game. On my team, I have a slasher and a stretch five. Both of them are randoms, and I will never play with them again. You'll see why, clearly. Uh, I actually played the game with the stretch five before this, and we were cool, but he, uh, yeah, he started tripping. But we're going up against a glass cleaner finisher, a play shot, and a scoring machine. So I think uh, build-wise, it's a pretty even matchup, but skill-wise, my team, we just fell short. And you're going to see why. Now, I'm not going to be making any cuts. Y'all going to see the full game straight out. So you can give me a criticism, send a comments to tell me what you feel like I could have did differently. Only thing I ask is that you be respectful. Now, I matched up against the score machine. And the slasher is on the play shot, which seemed to be a task for him. Now, you see he's way off right there. Then he gets picked. The big man actually should have stepped up to kind of make him at least hesitate. He didn't have to step all the way up, but he definitely should have hedged to make him think about it. Now, right here, I should have drove it. Definitely should have drove it. I could have gave even an alley-oop at that point, although I saw him too late. And I could have took the shot before that. And he too, he should have definitely passed it back. He could have passed it to stretch five. That was hella selfish and stupid. I asked him to step in. I take the two, but I make the shot. So at least we come out this possession with a point. Now this play right here is on me and the big man. Uh, on the big man because he didn't hedge. And me because I definitely should have pressed him earlier. But I did not expect him to shoot it like that with scoring machine. Uh, I don't see too many scoring machines shoot that well. So I kind of just wanted to try him out. And that right there, um, I don't know what happened, man. I felt like 2K just put me in a bad animation. Because I was actually trying to pass it to the stretch five right there at the top of the key. At the top of the three point line, man. I don't know what happened, man. Sometimes 2K just puts you in a bad animation. So sometimes it just is what it is. Now, as you're going to see, this hedging thing with the big man is going to continue to be a problem because he does not get out the paint. He does not help. This guy has brick wall hall of fame. I could tell because I'm actually not moving, but he keeps pulling me back into him. And my big man never came with the help. And when a guy's shooting like that, you got to come up for the help. Now, another example of the selfishness in the 2K community right here. Now, watch the stretch five. Perfect cut. Should have passed the stretch five for the easy bucket, but instead he goes up with all three players in the paint. Now, because of that stupid shot, we get a turnover. And we get lucky because they missed this shot and we get the rebound. I shoot down court, slasher passes to me. I pass to the big man because he never moved. He's a stretch five, but I feel like he's too far out and that's why he missed that shot. Now, he does come back on defense, so of course my man gets an easy showtime dunk, of course. Now, the stupid immature part of this is the big man is basically giving up. You see, he never left the spot, but I make a good cut. He makes the pass, and I make the dunk. But the dumb part is, we just started. The game just started. He has no communication, not saying anything. Uh, still not hedging, but I actually do pretty good on that pick, so I stop him from getting that bucket. And then the slasher actually gets a decent contest on that shot. And uh, I don't know how this was out on us. I felt like that big man hit it, but you know, they got the momentum, calls go their way, you know how 2K do. And in this next play, uh, I was late trying to play the passing lane, and uh, my man got the ball, ended up blowing by me, and gets a nice showtime dunk. Now, you're going to see the big man, he's going to just go ahead and pass it to me because he doesn't want to give it to the guard. Uh, I give it to the slasher because I see the play developing, and he had a good cut, and I knew the big man was going to be stuck under the basket. Now, this one was just a good little play. My man gets a little too anxious. He gets a nice little layup. That was actually a pretty smart move on their part. At this point, our big man, the stretch five, is starting to get a little irritated. He doesn't even want to play no more. I guess because I didn't give him the pass back instead of 
giving it to the slasher who had a great slash to the basket. So you see, he's not even coming back on offense. He's giving up at this point. He starts complaining that we're not passing him the ball as in plural, me as well. Uh, so I'm waiting for somebody to move. I'm not the greatest uh, dribbler with this guy, but I do what I can. And, I, and I'm i talking to him as I'm doing this. So I'm like not really fully engulfed into the game at that point. So I take a, a bad shot. It was actually a good shot, just a bad release. And then we're just the whole thing just falls apart at this point. One lesson everybody has to learn is it's the difference between not passing the ball and you just not getting the ball because you're not in a position to get the ball. As you can see on that play where I pass to the slasher, he's a few feet away from the three-point line. Now, I don't know if he can make that with some type of consistency, but you know I felt like the, the short play was giving it to the slasher because as you can see, he was blowing past this man. His play, man played up too high, and the big man was stuck under the basket. And he's a pure slasher, so you know obviously he puts the moves on him. He's not very good on defense. Uh, he puts the moves on him. At this point, when he gets that badge on, you know it's over. Everybody knows that. And now the big man is just, our big man just throwing the ball away. He's selling the game hard, standing out of bounds, just throwing the ball away. He's selling super hard right now. This is the biggest reason we lost. We could have easily came back. But some people have this mindset where you have to shoot all threes. Sometimes you got to get what you can get. Because you can live by the three and you could die by the three. The thing is, if you're missing the threes, you're going to lose the game. You're going to lose the game if you're missing them. So why not mix it up and get a short shot? If you got a good three, take the three. If you don't, don't waste time and just get a good two. He's not playing defense, so the big man, of course, gets an easy bucket. At this point, it's 26, and he's blaming us. Now, I do think the slasher was a little overly, you know, selfish. You know, I green bean that one because he ain't come up. Now, and I don't, honestly, I took a little while to do that because I'm talking to him. So I should have shot sooner. <laughs> But I make the shot. Um, but yeah, it was a lack of defense, some selfish play. And like I said, it's two different types of selfish in 2K, man. You have the selfish player that doesn't pass the ball at all and just tries to take everything and doesn't care. He could shoot uh, five for 20. And they just, you know, feel like because they got the points, then they're great, you know. But it's not all about points. You got to shoot at a good percentage. And then you have the other type of selfish where, you know, people just want the ball all the time and in every single play. Even if they're not the right person to have the ball, they want the ball. They want to make the plays. You know, some people just stat pad. So, you know, we lost the ball due to egos. I mean, we lost the game due to egos. And, you know, it is what it is, man. You can't win them all. This is what happens when you play with randoms. Uh, if you like to run with me, Y'all see the name, J King underscore the rubble. Hit me up. I'm down to play with anybody who's willing to play some good team ball. But as usual, y'all be easy. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. That includes the weekend. Shout out to all my OGs, OHG, O'Head Gamers, and my Royal Rebels. And y'all, let's ball.